I think something I've talked about in the past with other people, not on the podcast, but like on Twitter is people often get scared of a premium for using like cryptocurrency exchanges that don't require KYC, you know, know your customer information or people freak out when they go on like, used to be local Bitcoins. Now local Monero is really the only version similar to that, but they go in there and they see they have to pay a five or 8% premium and they freak out, but they're, they're not realizing that the discount you're getting when you're going to that central exchange or when you're going to that government approved exchange is that you're giving them over all of your personally identifiable information. You're sacrificing your privacy and you're getting a discount in exchange for that. I, I really view that whatever the, the market rate on the street is, whether that's just directly peer to peer with somebody or if that's something like BISC or local Monero, that's really the market rate. And you can get a discount if you're willing to give up your personally identifiable information. But I think people need to realize that that trade is obviously going in the favor of the the governments and central exchanges that are choosing to do that. And it's it's well worth paying a perceived premium for keeping a service alive that's really providing a, an essential piece. And I love that that was a focus of this this section of your book. Yeah, yeah, and also, of course, the more uh, these uh, dealers there are, the the fees uh, would be lower. So, uh, so I rarely see anything about uh, above five percent, and usually it's much less. It 